Hi guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Allie, and this is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. Guys, <laughs> we're filming yeah. ourselves. We are trying new things with this podcast because that's what? what we do. I have a coworker who told me that I should be doing all this stuff. <laughs> and was like, why aren't you thinking like this? <laughs> so our midi sods for sure. Maybe yes. one day. Probably not. Our main sods. Not a full one. Maybe like part of it. Maybe, maybe part. Yeah. Yeah. I might end up having to film the whole thing, but mm. I'm not going to put that whole thing out for you guys. It's, that would be boring. Yeah. So our mini so <laughs> is the person who puts it on. <laughs> so our mini so's are Audio. being filmed for YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. You can, can find mean? us at Offscript. Is that how you find us? Type us in. Just look You'll for find it. <laughs> We have so many different names, you guys. <laughs> You might get more in the video than in the audio. You never know. You never know. So we have, yeah, you, you might should. want to check it out. Because then that would be incentive to go watch the video, yeah. even though they've already heard the episode. Yeah. Well, we are trying to be a little bit quieter because we are filming. Filming. We are filming. We are recording <laughs> on location. In Forks. In Forks. We've never filmed on location before. So I know. I'm kind of like awkward. <laughs> But we're also recording ourselves. We could flip the camera around so we could see ourselves. Would that be less awkward? But anyways, you guys. So we're in Forks. We're in Forks. I get to be my full Twy Hard self. So if you go check out the YouTubes. Bree's showing off her shirt. This is where Rob signed it. Oh, Robert Pattinson actually signed it. It's so crinkly. <laughs> That's really impressive writing and everything. Sierra made stencils. Oh, okay. I was like, how is it perfect? Yeah. <laughs> the front, because I wanted, the front is Edward's actual, like, handwriting from the book. Uh -huh. So she went and made stencils and, like, she would print it out and then cut it and then put it on tape and make it, like, this thick okay. thing so that I could paint it. Cute. Mm-hmm. You got, like, all the fun little things, too. Mm -hmm. I got a feather. I got a Volvo. I got deer. <laughs> Uh, Team Edward since 1901. Uh -huh. That's when he was born. Cute. Breaking Dawn, Eclipse, uh -huh. New Moon. Uh huh. We don't have a oh Twilight. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be like we don't have an apple. And then bite me, and then my piano where I wanted Rob to sign. Oh yeah. I had Josh Hutcherson sign my heart on my Hunger Games shirt. Cute. Yeah, I guess this is also the time i was gonna save this for the breaking dawn podcast but i have to correct myself everyone i met Alyssa at the breaking dawn premiere oh. <laughs> she said this in our recap from season one yeah right? Alyssa hadn't even listened to the recap and was texted me what was she texting me about i can't even remember i think i said something about like oh wait no she had posted pictures from the Breaking Dawn premiere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I commented and was like, you were at the Breaking Dawn premiere. Oh my gosh. And she's like, uh, I met you there. She's like, Brie, that's where we met. And I was like, no, we met at the Catching Fire premiere. I was like, so we met at Catching Fire and then saw each other at Breaking Dawn. And she's like, no, you have it backwards. <laughs> I was like, what? And she's like, I remember you hanging out in that Starbucks wearing that cool shirt that you made. <laughs> I was like, this one? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you do. Because Starbucks was my hangout. Me and my friends, we sat, me and my friends, like, okay, I'm doing air quotes right now mm -hmm. because we weren't friends when we went to the premiere together. Uh -huh. oh. Together. But then we got there, but um, now there's some of my closest friends. But so we would sit at this and Susie would stay there because that's the only spot you could charge your phones so Susie uh, would hang out there when she wasn't doing stuff and then we would like go out and do things so then we would come back and just hang out with her cute and that's where I sat so once she said that I was like oh she did meet me at Breaking Dawn <laughs> and some I, my least favorite 
and favorite premiere I've been to is this one. How it's, can it be both? Uh, because I just... So it's my least favorite and favorite because, obviously, Twilight. Uh -huh. The fact that I got to go to the last Twilight red carpet, like, that alone is the reason why it's my favorite. Right. Plus, it's just, like, there's something about watching it in the big theater that they put you in with, like, some of the stars don't stay, but, like, with most of the stars, with, mm -hmm. like, all the producers, the editors, the directors, Stephanie's in there. That's fun. And, like, especially... Especially because they're there to hear how you're reacting. So, like, when I reacted to certain parts in the movie, like, knowing that they were hearing me react. Like, obviously not just me. But like, right. But still. Yeah. It was cool. But it's my least favorite because um, with Breaking Dawn Part 2, the fan camp that they did, you had to register for it. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to sign up to be part of the first group. And when I signed up for this, there was only going to be that group, right? I didn't make it for that first group. But then they were like, oh, it's the last, it's the last Breaking Dawn. It's the last Twilight one. Mm -hmm. We kind of want to make this special for the fans. We should make it a little bit more than what it is. So they released a second round of like, hey, you guys registered. Here's the people who got in from this. Oh, okay. And they added a bunch more people. Because I was part of the second group, it was almost like the first group got, like, the nicer things. And the second oh. group kind of got whatever. So, like, all of the premieres I've been to, except for, like, the Rover and Divergent, were all in the same L.A. Live square. Mm -hmm. And so they have the square here. And that's normally where you camp out. For Breaking Dawn, they had the square. And then they had blocked off, like, the whole entire road. Wow. Okay. So that they could fit all the camp or all the camps, all of the fans. Okay. Okay. In the road. Mm -hmm. So I got put all the way at the end of the road. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So they pick your spot. Essentially. Oh. Because of how you get let in and like all that. So then when it came time for the red carpet, my spot for the red carpet was the carpet was over here. I was across the street on bleachers at the very top of the bleachers. Oh. So that's why I didn't get to give this to Rob. That's why right. I had to pass it forward. Oh. Yeah. And then <laughs> I was an idiot because the girl who was in front of me, who was like, do you have anything you want me to pass down? Like I have friends at the very front. They don't really care about the autographs, but if there's anything you guys want, I can pass it down to them. Cute. And I was like, I just want Rob, especially because at this point in time, this is when... Kristen, it had just come out that Kristen had apparently cheated on Rob <laughs> with a director <laughs> that she had been working with, Han Snow White and the Huntsman. <laughs> and I was pissed at her. Even oh though, my gosh. Even though, let's be honest, I was pissed that they were together. I to <laughs> so you would think I would be like, good looking out. And Did you never, were you never like, you know how when you have like a favorite TV show? And, and you your want the characters two. are together and then they get yeah. together in real life. No, you I never was felt pissed. like that. Really? It wasn't I a, wanted to be with it. It wasn't a oh my gosh, Bella and Edward are really together. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> I never had that happy moment. No. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so I was mad. And then when she cheated on him, I was mad. <laughs> I was like, ooh, she's on her bed. <laughs> so I could have had my book passed down to have her sign it. And I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking like, this is an actress who you love. Panic Room, Messengers, a bunch of other movies that you've watched with her in it. She's an actress that you actually care about. <laughs> like, you should have her get a signature for you. Plus, Taylor, because only Rob, Kristen, and Taylor came over. Oh, wait, no. Michael Sheen came over too and Kellen Lutz. The big ones came over to our section. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So I should have just passed my book down and had them get everyone to see. You should have. <laughs> but no, I only wanted Rob because I was kind of like, I was pissed that I was at the very top. And I was like, yeah. I was bummed. I was sad. I was like, this is such a, especially like before this one, I had my Hunger Games experience. And Hunger Games, I was the top of the bleachers on the carpet. But that only meant there were two rows in front of me and then the carpet was there that's cool yeah 
Catching Fire is my all-time favorite, but I'll get into that when we do Hunger Games. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. That is why. That's my least favorite. I just, I, I kind of biffed that up bad. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, bummer. Yeah. But. But other than that, you had a good time. I got the main one. I <laughs> You got his signature. Also, one thing that makes me really excited. Uh-huh. So this signature is his full Rob. Uh-huh. And then the signature that I have of his that's on my little Ashes DVD is just his R. Oh, so because two different Robert exactly, Pattinson signatures. Exactly, because Rob usually when there's when he wants to get to everyone, he'll just do his quick R. Yeah. So I'm surprised this wasn't a quick R too. He loved the shirt too much. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I'm so glad that there's this hard as a rock <laughs> for me to sign on. <laughs> no, maybe he saw his shadow <laughs> right next. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I bet he did. It is cool. So for our not story part of the podcast i don't know what do we call it? our section second part of the podcast yeah <laughs> our activity part mm-hmm. we're gonna continue some of the questions that oh. Alyssa had sent us yes speaking of Alyssa, <laughs> and let's do it yeah oh this is a good one ali yeah. have you ever done any fangirl events slash things like brie has if not what's the most fangirl thing you've done no i haven't and i've always wanted i just what like a fangirl event i've never done a red carpet that's where my mind is going okay comic-con dude oh <laughs> well okay my mind was going fangirl like com- like red carpet mm-hmm. so no never done like a red carpet i've done comic-con i've done gone to forks to tour everything <laughs> <laughs> um I've done, I don't know if this counts, the Harry Potter Symphony or the oh, Seattle Symphony. I'm jealous. I've wanted to do that. I did the, for the Sorcerer's Stone. That was really cool. And I think the most fun part though, like the music was super cool to see it match perfectly, mm-hmm. but was everyone there was a mm-hmm. fan. Mm-hmm. So you got the like midnight mm-hmm. showing mm-hmm. reactions. Mm-hmm. So that was super fun. Um... But other than that, no, I've always wanted to, but I have two little gremlins who have stopped me stopped. from enjoying my life. Really I just kidding. I haven't <laughs> had children yet. No. <laughs> That's fine. And so, um, That's not why I have <laughs> Hey. And so, um, no, but I think, I think like our trip to Forks. Yeah. Super fun. I think just doing little around hometown <laughs> what i can do <laughs> yeah the seattle symphony stuff like that that's about as much as i can go yep so brie yes who was your favorite celebrity encounter <sighs> celebrity encounter slash meet and greet i was trying to figure out what m and g was <laughs> that's why i paused for so long <laughs> i was wondering <laughs> um god i have too many <laughs> Who are some of them? Boo Boo Stewart is up there for sure. Oh, yeah. Seth. Yeah. Seth. Clearwater. Seth Clearwater. But um, Stan Lee was also. <gasps> Stan Lee is a great cool. one. I met him at Comic Con. But I also. Freddy Krueger is my all time favorite horror movie like villain. Uh-huh. I've always said he's my horror movie husband. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I love freddy Krueger. i mean that's uh, interesting <laughs> so i love freddy Krueger. so robert england is like high on my list and so i met him at a comic-con and when i met him i was dressed as freddy Krueger, and i had the claw and i was like can you i want to be killing you in our <laughs> picture and he was like absolutely and then he posed us and it was like he even like was like okay put this foot here and put this foot here and then Aww. you're gonna lean and go like this and i'm gonna be going like this and i was like you're into this and that's like, awesome yeah oh but also my matt smith encounter was kind of amazing yeah yeah i hate the picture cannot stand the picture we've talked about that but the encounter itself was great because i was wearing a blink if you want me shirt because i was being funny because Mm -hmm. the weeping angels you're not supposed to blink Mm -hmm. and then also i love matt (laughs) like blink if you want me dude okay okay 
so when I, it was me and Sierra and we were standing there waiting and he was interacting with like the people in front of us. And I was just staring at him like, he's right there in front of me. And then he turned to look at us and he went all blinking big. <laughs> I realized that I could do it on there. So I, yes. I, I did it for the video <laughs> tubes, <laughs> but he, so he did that. I was like, hi guys, how are you? And I was just like, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I handed him my sonic screwdriver that I had and posed and realized as I was posing that I was standing really far away from him. I was like, this is so stupid. And then when he, or when we left, this was also like my first encounter. And so like before we went in, they were like, don't ask for hugs. So I'd like, I was like, oh, I can't ask for a hug. Why but I bet you I could have. Because they don't want you to take too much time. And they think hugs will take too much time. Oh, my word. Yeah. So d- now I say, screw you guys. I'm asking for a hug. <laughs> they can tell me no. But yes. You can't. Exactly. Uh, so he like, he put his arms like around me and Sierra and then patted my shoulder as we were walking out. I was like, I hope you guys have a great day at the con. Aww. Even though me and Sierra weren't planning on going to the con. <laughs> we were there literally just for this picture oh. <laughs> because it was in Oregon. Oh. And not Seattle. So we go out to get our picture and the person like with the printed pictures looking at us and they're like, you're going to have to do this again. It's blurry. And he hands it to us and is like, just go straight to the front of the line, hand them their picture and they'll just let you right on in. Oh, nice. <laughs> so Sierra's like, Brie, are you ready? You get to do this again with him. And I was like, oh, I could barely handle the first time. I had to do this again. That would be me too. <laughs> so then we go back in and he like, we give the picture to the person and they're like, okay, yeah. And then he's like, oh, we have to do it again. All right, let's go. <laughs> and he like remembered us and I was like, okay. Uh, again, I stood 50 feet away from him. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, like <laughs> this time he like, I don't know if he could just sense that I was like silently freaking out. Uh-huh. Or something because I remember he like he said goodbye to Sierra and then he turned and looked at me and then he was like you have a good day and like <gasps> squeezed my shoulder <laughs> I was like he's like this girl's having a panic attack let me ho- help her have a bigger one <laughs> I was just gonna say let me help her die <laughs> yeah and so I keep trying to schedule him for when he schedules for a multi-day comic con so I can fix that and he keeps canceling on me <laughs> Dang, so mad. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I know. I've only we already talked about it, but my two celebrity encounters. Were there was a second part to that, and I have a oh, great you're right. story. You're right. There was. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just find it. There we go. Have you ever seen a celebrity randomly on the street, mm-hmm. or was it always at an event? So I actually have. There were two times that are actually super hilarious. I saw Justin Bieber on the street. What? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Me and Amy were walking around LA and we had just gone to Amoeba and we were walking back to her car to go home, I think. Okay. And we saw this dude. What? Did we see the paparazzi first or do we see him? I think we saw the paparazzi first. We saw a guy with the big camera and... Once you live in LA and you just see them all the time, you hate paparazzi. They're dicks. They're horrible. Oh, I've hated them and I don't live there. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're assholes. But like once you see them in action, it's even worse. So I looked over and I was like, who the hell is he trying to like, who is he trying to get? Because I'm always hoping it's Rob. <laughs> like where? Crane in your neck. Or yeah. So then we're like, what the heck? We don't see anyone but like kitty corner from us there's this dude in a hoodie with Mm -hmm. sunglasses on looking down and then we see the paparazzi kind of like stop and hide and we're like what and then we look and we realize we see all the like tattoos Mm -hmm. (laughs) and we're like that's justin bieber (laughs) not that either of us are a fan but we were just like we saw (laughs) so cool like spotting a (laughs) wild animal in the (laughs) In nature, <laughs> right? It's true. Uh, but my favorite story is, and it's perfect for an episode to come out before Twilight. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Get comfortable. Uh, it's just uh-huh. So one of Rob's local haunts in LA is the Chateau Marmont. <laughs> okay. So I've always wanted to go there. <laughs> so finally one night, it was like, I can't remember if it was our, like, I'm leaving or if it was just one of the times that I was visiting and we're like, we gotta go do something that we haven't done before with me and Amy. Uh-huh. And so, oh, I think it was just one of the times that I was visiting because Amy was like, what is something that you've always wanted to do that we haven't done? Oh, fine. Mm-hmm. It's like Chateau Marmont. So we went and the whole time I was just like, Rob, 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 <laughs> Rob. Rob? The chances Rob. he'd be there Rob? on the same Rob? night you are. <laughs> he goes there all the time. Really? All the time. That's where he goes to eat. <laughs> Do I know when he lives in LA? No, I don't. I, I don't know when say, he's does in he London, live there? London, New York, and LA. Yeah. He has a house in all of them. Well, he has something in all of them. <laughs> so we go there and we get sat down and then we find out I'm not even big fans of these guys, <laughs> but it's still like the night that we went was the night that Kanye West was oh throwing gosh. Kim Kardashian's birthday party uh-huh. out in the patio. Uh-huh. So like they're having people again, Justin Bieber walked by. Us. Oh my gosh. And like, I can't even remember. There were quite a few other people that were going out there, but we were like, what are the chances that we go on the night that they're throwing this party? So then we're sitting there and we ordered this like fancy salad and fancy meal or actually fancy drinks. And I realized in the corner is Julie Andrews. <gasps> She's an icon. Having, yeah, having like lunch with some dude. And I was like, what? Mary Poppins? Yeah. <laughs> so then I go to the bathroom and then I come back and I'm like trying to see if there's anyone else. And then Amy goes to the bathroom and Amy comes back and goes, Brie. And I was like, what? She's like, Marco Robbie was in the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, what? She was like, yeah. She was on the phone and she was blocking the paper towels. Then she saw that I was done washing my hands. So she handed me a paper towel. Oh my gosh. Would that just be like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? She's like, she did not look like herself. She didn't have her makeup on. I didn't even almost recognize her. So then I'm like, yeah, right. But then we're both watching the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Staring at the door. <laughs> right? But then I think like a waitress or something came like was doing stuff with us because then someone walks by me and then like walks this way stops right here and turns to look this way and i look and sure enough there's margot robbie without makeup on oh my god it's like she just looks like every other woman out there <laughs> so yeah that was that That's was one so of my cool. favorite nights. no i've never mm-hmm. seen a celebrity in the wild wow <laughs> i say that like i do all the time <laughs> man but you lived in la you got i did yeah yeah that's fun though. Heck, one of, I was so upset. One of the times I went to I went to the Amoeba had a Captain America like release party because uh-huh. Anthony and Joe were gonna be there to sign the DVDs. So okay. I got there pretty early because I wanted to make sure that I got a copy of the DVD. You do not know how pissed I was because I got my DVD, got it signed. They had a little like vending machine where you could like hit a button and you got an special extra little prize or something okay outside of amoeba that was marvel related so i go out there i'm waiting in that long ridiculous line up comes this uh black car that is typical for having a celebrity in it and out walks stan lee (sighs) and he was there to sign everyone's dvd you were just too early yeah i was so upset Uh... so then i went to get back in line to try because everyone's like you can go and try but they're not staying for that long yeah and i think i got like probably 30 people ahead of me when he left oh yeah but then i met him at comic-con right. so it so kind of helpful. evened out but i wish yeah. i was able to get him to sign my captain america dvd i know that's cool yeah yeah Very i miss la dude <laughs> Sounds like a blast. You got to move there so that I can just come visit. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll go to Chateau Marmont. Yes. So I can try and find a rock. Dude, I would be the worst. Like, what did uh, Amy do when Margot Robbie handed her the towel? She just said, thank you. Yeah. There's no way I'd be like, uh, thank you. (laughs) You (laughs) Run away. You kind of realize you have to play cool, especially like if you're going 
to the Chateau Mermont where they all go. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to be like <laughs> Yeah. You can't it's freak a out. Yeah. Yeah. But it's hard. I, I can't to. live there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have I told my Johnny Depp story on the podcast? No, that's the one I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I was awaiting you for it. And then you tell two new ones. <laughs> Cause I forgot about this one. I always forget about this one. <laughs> so it's not like super confirmed, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like 95% certain. <laughs> she actually met Johnny Depp. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Surprising. Is that what you thought I would say? No. <laughs> so... <laughs> This was, I think this was when I was going down to move there. Okay. After college. So it's after college and I'm going down there. So Sierra comes down with me and it's our first night there. And I love the Hard Rock Cafe on Hollywood (laughs) Boulevard. I'm like, that's where I want to go have dinner tonight. So we meet up with Amy. We meet up. I was living with Amy. Oh, okay. (laughs) We go to Amy's. (laughs) And then we get her and go to the boulevard and we park, but we parked far away so we wouldn't have to pay ridiculous amount of money. Okay. So we kind of paid, we paid parked kind of like in the sketchier area of Hollywood Boulevard, but like not super far down where it was like super sketch. So we park and we're walking and you can tell that you're getting closer to like the mall that's on the Hollywood Boulevard because the stores start popping up with like all the souvenirs that you can buy. Uh So we're walking by one and I turn and look. And (laughs) if you didn't think I was a huge Johnny Depp fan before, (laughs) this will show you. (laughs) So we walk by and they had souvenir like coasters with pictures of people's star on it. And I (laughs) saw one that had Johnny Depp's on it. And I went, (gasps) Johnny Depp, really loud super excited like i always am uh-huh. and then on the hollywood boulevard there's a bunch of people who always dress up mm-hmm. as characters mm-hmm. so sitting next to this store who i had not seen until this point is someone dressed up like jack sparrow who goes oh really me i'm like oh this dude's gonna start talking to me and he's gonna want me to pay him to take a picture with him especially since i just freaked out about johnny Depp's star <laughs> i can't do that and so i continue to walk but then i realize it clicks i'm like that sounded like johnny Depp. so i like turn and look at him at the same time that sierra does uh-huh <laughs> so we both stop and look and stare and i'm like uh and then we like turned back and then I looked at her and was like did that sound like Johnny Depp to you? And she's like yeah <laughs> I was like well that's weird so then I keep walking don't even think about it I'm like what a creep why would he like <laughs> what the heck I hate these Hollywood walk of fame people who just stand there and like make me pay them money to take pictures with me I can go buy a Halloween costume and dress up. <laughs> oh this was for my internship because then at my internship, a few months later, I'm telling this story to one of my like fellow interns. <laughs> and he goes, Bree, you know that Johnny Depp likes to do that, right? Like he dresses up as Jack Sparrow all the time and just kind of like hangs out to see if people notice. And I was like, wait, what? Dude, you were so close. <laughs> but what made it click for me was... I started thinking about it because then I was Googling to see because I knew Johnny Depp did this at Disneyland. But I was like, does he really do this anywhere else? And then I stopped and I was like, dude, he reacted to Johnny Depp. If it were some random dude dressed up as a character, don't you think he would react to Jack Sparrow, not Johnny Depp? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Why? Why? (laughs) Why would he go, oh, really? Oh, you're interested in Johnny Depp, really? <laughs> yeah. And then I just walk around. And you're like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The best part of this is he probably thought that I saw him and freaked out. <laughs> when really I saw his damn coaster. <laughs> no. Sad day. Yeah. 
I think I blocked that one out because I was just so freaking close. I should have so stopped close. and got a picture. Because I had like, I think I had $2 in my purse or something. So I could have paid them if it was some random dude. But if it wasn't, he wouldn't have made me pay. It would have been like, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cameron went down for uh, when you first got hired at the Sundance Film Festival music movie theater. Music theater. Movie theater. Um as a company team building crap, mm -hmm. they flew all the general managers down to Orlando, not Orlando, Universal. Yeah. And so he walked the strip and he did like behind the scenes Universal tour and oh, all this sort of stuff. I love the Universal tour. So cool. Well, you know, us being newbies at everything have never been to LA. So he, people were like, you know, take pictures with, take pictures with us. So he posed with Wonder oh, Woman. Oh no. Wonder Woman and Chewy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they were like, okay, like holding the hands. Where's my money? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, we don't have cash. And they were like, yeah, they get pissed. pissed. They get mean. I think he said Chewy was fine. He was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. But Wonder Woman was a evil person. And uh -huh. it's like, but why wouldn't you take the money before you do the picture? Yeah. Yeah. Like he's like, because they want you, you to feel guilty. Oh, I wouldn't feel guilty. I'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, shoot. Well, sorry. I didn't know. I, have to, I got no money. <laughs> yeah. No. Sierra warned me the first time we went. Yeah. She's like, there's going to be people dressed on the strip. Don't do it. That's lame. I know. It, lame there, was, there was also one time. I'm so glad. This was after I had been in LA for a while. The El Capitan Theater was doing a Nightmare Before Christmas screening on Halloween. Fun. And I dressed up as Sailor Moon for Halloween. Uh-huh. And as I was walking to the theater with Amy, some one of the people was dressed up as tuxedo mask and he was trying to take a picture with me. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm OK. Wow. I'm not going to pay you money just because I'm dressed up as Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Mm. Oh, whatever. People are. Gotta get their act together down there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they do it. They want to yeah. be paid for acting. Probably. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Well, that was fun. That was a good mini sub. Okay. I talked a ton. Yes. And join us. My bad, guys. No, we learned so much. So much About fun. me being a fangirl. Yeah, so? Embarrassing. When in forks. Fangirl out. True. All right. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're almost <laughs> done. Oh. She's so sad. I don't cry. <laughs> I actually might cry. <laughs> You might. I might. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. See if Brie cries. I've cried during New Moon, during Two Kisses for Maddie. <laughs> Did you cry during New Moon? Yeah. Oh. You haven't right. listened to it yet. I haven't yet. Nope. Not, it's not as bad as Two Kisses for Maddie. Like, it doesn't sound like it, but oh. <laughs> you, you literally call me out. You go, Are you crying? <laughs> she's like, You're like, Guys, she's literally crying right now. <laughs> No. All right. <laughs> Stay tuned for more fun, you guys. <laughs> That's my any room for showing. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed, rate, and reviewed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Ashen Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See, See you, you next time! time.